G'day to you. My name is Prosper Tarovinga and I'm hoping you've had a fantastic day so far. Welcome to the Lunch and Learn. But I want to let you know that uh, this video is being recorded live on Facebook. So if you're catching this part, you're watching a replay. And I want you to hit the number two so that it just let us know, um, you know, people that are watching in post-production. It also helps us to curate our content. Um, and those that are watching on YouTube, please leave us a comment. Let us know where you're tuning in from. And I see the live part has just begun gems of windia thank you so much and i see mike is in the house it was great talking to you earlier on today maybe it's later on in the day for you i'm hoping everybody else is doing fantastic guys and that you're cruising in your businesses are being profitable and you're actually enjoying working in the business otherwise um you know if, if you you're having a deep in your business just let me know i can be more than happy to help you out because i really believe that if you're running an online business it has to be profitable and you gotta enjoy working in it and i also believe that if you're an online um you know, online business person, you should be able to create for and relate to the audience you're going to be demanding money off of. Mike says it's 10 p.m. Whoa, is it 10 p.m. on a Monday or is it 10 p.m. on a Tuesday? Because this is Thursday afternoon, this end. Let me know um, how it is. And I also believe that everybody else in life, ladies and gentlemen, is here to leave to learn and to contribute. And what I'm going to be talking about today is all about contribution, is all about giving off of your value, is all about the modality that you can actually utilize in order to reach massive amounts of people in the shortest amount of time if you actually put your mind and um, you know soul to it. All right, we're going to be talking about Facebook Live, which happens to be one of my favorite uh, marketing tools uh, since its inception in 2016. I would like to report that for the past 18 months, I've been reporting live um, with an exception of a couple of days, every single day at 2 p.m. AEST without fail. And I've managed to amass a big audience. And some of them I've cut it down because, you know, some of them were not precisely the people I wanted to deal with. But there has been ups and downs. And I'm more than happy to report to you what has worked, what is actually working, and why I'm consistently doing it and why I'm going to be doing a whole lot more off it. All right. So to be frank and to be, um, you know, upfront with you guys, uh, disclosure, I always a digital marketing business that helps um, you know uh, small businesses to start scale and grow all right so that's why I take advantage of all these technologies and have time because I outsource most of my work so some people might be saying how am I going to be able to do that um, I will be telling you how for the stuff that we get up to around here so that we actually have a business that um, is profitable and enjoyable now Mike says it's Monday here you are ahead of me over there. Absolutely. We live in the future, brother. So if you want to know what the lottery numbers are for your state right there, talk to me after the show. I might be able to, um, you know, help you out on that. But there's a catch. We do a 70-30 split. All right. Because I'm the one with the information. All right. So like I was saying, guys, my work really involves um, helping you to invent remarkable products or services, and also for you to be able to tell stories around them, all right? And how do I do that? I simply just teach a four-step system. Every single day, I touch on one of these particular points so that you can find the right people for you to sell your goods and services to, engage them with the right content and educate them on what to want, and then essentially just solve their problems and not sell to them. And pretty much after that, you're branding your business and you're actually creating a community around your work. Now, what a better way to create a community around your work besides using, you know, the free platform, which is Facebook Live. All right. So let me know in the comments below those people that are watching right now or even if you're watching in post-production, do you... Or have you ever done your own Facebook Live? Can you just type in the comments? If you've done a Facebook Live, um, type in the number one. 
If you're thinking about it, type in the number two. If you would never think about it, type in the number three. So number one, for those that have done a Facebook Live and, you know, might continue to do it. Number two are people that are still really trying to think, how do I get around to, um, you know, presenting myself live on, on, on Facebook? And number three, um, if you would never even go anywhere near, um, you know, the... <laughs> I ever anyway go near the the camera Scott Woodrow you should my man start doing Facebook lives you know what the closer you are to the camera these days my man the closer you are to the bank that is a guarantee you know what I mean insane as 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 however um it may be um let me know Julianne was it simple for you to do or was it difficult or did you face a bit of anxiety let me know what you went through when you did your first live um uh activity there and congratulations for having made an att attempt i mean in insane however it's not that simple do you know what I mean? It's not that simple. This live feature can be a game changer, um, you know, to your lead generation efforts and to your also social media authority. Because let me tell you something. People are coming to the Internet to get information. Now, if your brand is the one that's providing that information, people get to know you, like you, and then they get to trust you. Do you know what I mean? And we all know that people do business with those that they, um, you know, know, like and trust, you know. Um, some of you might already have given this a test run. And also, you know, you've noticed that some really big names and some really, um, you know, all the coaches that you actually aspire to become, they're already using it. And I, for one, have been using it so much. I, I think I've even abused the system. I think I wanted to see how long it goes. It actually, I've recorded a video live for four hours. It's there if you look for it on my on my wall. They just try and see how much I can actually suck out of um, you know this um, you know f you know this um, this free uh, platform that we have. Now, Julianne says definitely and giantly anxiety not flow um the thing about it is if you just talk about what you know if you just talk about what you're doing um you just make it look like you're talking to a friend like right now i'm communicating with you i think we've got a meeting scheduled sometime so that we can get to chat i haven't spoken to you but i feel like i know you already and i suppose the feeling is mutual uh with me it gives you this open platform that you can actually create for and relate to the people ask questions in real time get feedback you know there's not a lot of marketing modalities that actually give you that you know what i mean and and um that's the reason why i've been using this even though i'm well versed with all the other marketing modalities i've really really grasped on how to actually do facebook lives and and connect with my audience and those people that um you know i will be creating for and relating to i see jamie stanhouse is in the house Le what's happening my man hope you're having a fantastic day right there he too does a few facebook lives here and there and i've also intercepted some of his work because if you can actually relate to your audience and deliver content to them in a way that they can also ask you questions in a way that they they know that you are actually helping them by actually helping them it makes a massive difference you know so I'll tell you this, man. The folk at Facebook, they're not sleeping just to make sure that they make this thing more cutting edge. And the more people get to know you and get in touch with your work, the more you can start generating, you know, meaningful leads because now they understand what it is that you can help them by actually helping them, you know? And, you know, it's, it's, just, um, it's, it's, it's just easy for you to actually find your, your ideal clients it's easy for you to actually figure out who exactly is the person that I need to be reaching out to based on how much they're responding to you. I mean, some people use Facebook Live for showing the behind the scenes of their business so they can t tell their story. Some people use it to share experiences on how they're actually running their business and other people are, uh, you know, helping or, 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 or other people are benefiting from that. You know, I'm certain you must have seen it. There's this lady who's now become famous, the Chewbacca lady who has broken the record. I think she had about 140 million views in just three days. And that was so amazing. Can you imagine what other platform gives you so much exposure to your audience when you can? 
I mean, obviously, you, I can't help you get that many views and you probably don't need that many views. But at least what you really need is to have something that people can relate to, people that they can watch you on their own time on demand. Because not everybody is going to be ready to either read your blog or not everybody is going to be ready to, to, to watch your videos when you send them out to them. All right, so that's what I'm going to be teaching you how I actually, um, you know, take this video off of Facebook and then I put it onto, um, you know, YouTube. So that creates yet another content piece. And then from there, I then create a blog out of that. And then from there, snippets of that can be created into one minute Instagram videos. So you can actually kill two birds, three birds with just one stone or with just one content piece, you know. And at the end of the day, I, I, I can't tell the amount of business that I've generated after people have watched me live like this, you know, and it's all been through, you know, just showing up for my audience and putting out content every single day, um, you know, through Facebook live like this. So some people might be afraid, um, you know, because maybe you might be getting um, the, the anxiety like what, uh, you know, Julie has mentioned there. It's, it's, it's allowed. It's okay. But I see Cherry Chuma has also tuned in. What's going on, brother? Hope you're having a fantastic day right there. You know, there's been a lot of changes when it came to Facebook. And there's been a lot of announcements, you know, you know, about the changes in the algorithm. But the only thing that has stood that has not been changed or touched is Facebook Live. So it is actually an effective marketing, um, you know, tool if you actually know how to use it and you know how to relate to your audience and you know what content they're actually looking for. You know, there's been specific details that were, um, you know, uh, posted by I think the guy who who is the manager of Facebook newsfeed. And he's saying live videos get up to six times as many interactions as regular videos. So at the end of the day, if you are not showcasing your work, you are now put in the brackets of what your customers just think you are a copy and paste, um, you know, um, entrepreneur. Because other people can just copy something from a book, you know, they can just take, you know, t experts from a book and then put it out there as a status and then think that's their, um, you know, um, their opinion. People can notice that. But if you can speak to people, relay your message and actually help people by actually helping them being live like this, it helps them build that trust. And as we all know, people do business with those they know, like and trust. So if you're not yet using maybe Facebook live video option, you're leaving a lot of interaction behind, you know, and that means you're actually leaving a bazillion gazillion leads and sales that could actually convert just because they wanted to see how you operate and 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 how you can help them back in the days people would report to an office and then a consultant would sit with them across the table etc etc now the consultation is this this is how people can get to touch the hem. This is how people can get to know that you know what you're talking about and you can represent their business or whatever it is that you're selling. So like I said, you're missing out on a bazillion, um, you know, uh, people that could be your leads or people that could turn into sales. The reason being, maybe we put out an ad out there. Not everyone is going to convert, convert on that particular day. People need at least six to eight times for them to actually see your stuff, for them to actually start, um, you know, uh, making a decision whether they want to work with you or not, you know. And guess what? Like what Julie says, I get it. It can be intimidating to be on camera, especially live. But the beauty, though, is that nobody expects it to be perfect. Those that were watching yesterday, my little girl walked in yesterday. You know, nobody was expecting me to be the bottom and to, to be scripted or, or to make sure that everything is, is going well. Some people like reading maybe from a screen or whatever it is. I just look at a topic and then just regurgitate whatever I've read and whatever I have come across. But I know that, you know, the content that I'm putting out there is useful, you know. So it is life. I mean, something can go wrong. Somebody can come in maybe with a nasty comment or whatever it is, and then it takes your attention away. But as long as you know that you're here to deliver, it's got nothing to do with you. And knowing that, you know, maybe your message would actually help somebody to, 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 to help themselves instead of them having to go through whatever pain they might be going through, you might actually just help them. So who are you as a person to deprive the person who could have heard that message from you that you could have delivered live? 
you know? So when you're being real on camera, it actually means you're being a real person. This is what authenticity is all about. You know, you, it's in a way that you, you build rapport really fast. You know what they say? They say um, a picture is worth a thousand. Um, is it, is it, am I right on that? Can you type in this thing that I want to say? A picture is worth a thousand words. Now, can you imagine what a video is worth? Because this is live. You can ask me exactly right about now. It's a quarter past two in Melbourne. And you are also maybe within the vicinity. And it's the same time right here, right now. This is happening. Can you imagine how it, 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 it makes people feel? So some people are afraid only because they are not prepared. Or they don't quite know what it is that they're supposed to be selling. Or who their target audience is. Just pick a topic that you think your prospects are interested in. You know, there's a lot of content around us so much that there's a few places that you can actually start looking for inspiration right now about what your business is doing, what your company is doing. The one thing that a lot of people are getting wrong is because they're listening a lot to Gary V and they think that they have to execute, 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 execute. It's not like that. You could actually document. You could actually show people what you're doing, how you're doing it and what results you're doing it um, and you're getting. That way, all of that content, you can still then use it later on in the future, you know, as a yardstick to say, you know what? A year ago, this is what I was saying. This is what we were doing. These are the results that we now have. And you now just have so much content that you can turn around and use together. All of the videos that I'm using right now, all of the videos that I'm putting out are going to be turned into a book. So can you imagine I'm going live every single day, you know? So that means I'm going to be putting out a book every single year from now on. Because now I've got the 360 and I've got results and I've got proof pudding to say most of the content has actually helped people by actually helping them. I had a girl, I think her name is Megan. I don't know if you guys have seen this. She went out and wrote a book and all the stuff that I've been saying, she went out and dedicated this book to me. I don't know if you can see that. Most of the work and most of the stuff that, um, you know, inspired her to create her program, create the stuff is all from this live video. Now, can you imagine how many other people are out there that are actually benefiting from the content or also benefiting from the content that you can put out? People are out there looking for a place to connect to. Be the connector and utilize whatever resources you might have. Maybe Facebook Live is not the thing for you, but maybe you can write or whatever it is. But today we're talking about Facebook Live and how you can actually help uh, people by helping them. So inspiration can be, what's the latest thing that you've done this week? So much is happening around us. You can just, it doesn't have to be a specific length, but be consistent. You know, you might have an upcoming meeting with a client. You may maybe help yourself solidify what you're going to talk about with that client by telling other people, um, you know, that may be in your audience and their prospects and then tell them what you're going to tell that client. You know, you break apart that content and then you can share a few tips here and there. And it could be a series of Facebook videos, um, you know, Facebook lives that you can put out throughout the day. And guess what I use Facebook live for? I use Facebook live to actually keep me, um, you know, um, to keep me grounded. I use Facebook live a a as an accountability, um, you know, measurement for me. Because, Bobby, how's it going, my man? We should do yet another live together as well. Because when you're working from home, I don't want to lie to you, there's Netflix, there's, there's cake, there's coffees free around here. There's, there's a lot that could distract you. But if I don't put my mind together and know that I have a show to put out, it's going to be difficult. You know what? It, 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 it will, I will be caught out that, you know, I'm not putting in the work. So at the end of the day, if, if I haven't got clients work to do, I know I'm putting out something and that one thing I haven't wasted a day. So that's why I put out a video every single day. So you can break out, break down that content, read something new and you can just regurgitate it back to your audience. You know, because we're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. Find out what, what are the frequently asked questions that your prospects might have. Start with a, a series of frequently asked questions, you know, Wh whatever you're reading in order to, to, to have information, um, you know, so that when you, somebody rings you, you know what to say. Guess what? Use that as part of your, um, your content.
You just simply answer questions that you think people are going to ask about what you do. Things you, you could simply ask questions about, um, you know, things that get asked often about your, your category of work. You know, I've got a doctor client, um, you know, one of our doctor office clients, um, they did this with questions on, it was insurance and also the Medicaid thing. You know, what, what is covered and what is not. And this video received thousands and thousands of comments and interactions. You know why? This resulted in new patients for them. Because people don't know what they don't know. You need to sell to people or you need to educate people on what, um, you know, what to want. Do you know what I mean? Um, how many of you guys blog with their marketing? Is blogging part of your marketing? Can you let me know? Um, number one, if blogging is part of your marketing. Number two, if you're thinking about it. And number three, if you haven't even written a blog in your life. So number one, if blogging is part of your marketing and you do it regularly. Number two, if you're thinking about it. Number three, if you've never written a blog in your life. Because each time you put out a blog, you know, or you share a tip or a strategy or whatever it is that you do with your, with your, with your, with your clients, you know, you could actually link back to that article and do a video description about it. So people are coming to the internet to get information. And if you're the person that's providing that information, they get to know you, they get to trust you and they get to like you. And people like doing business with those they know, like, and trust. So Julie, we'll have a, a bit of a chat and so that we can see what sort of content strategy are you doing in order to bring in new customers. So half of the time you can just do a small video and say, hey guys, I just put up a blog on my website. Go on and check it out. I was talking about this, this, this. You know, you summarize the blog and then you put it out there. Some of the things that you can put content about is people like... <clears throat> Apparently they say people would support a building that they helped to build. So do the behind the scenes. Show us that you actually have a call face. Show us how you actually do the work. You know, do you have a product or do you have a program or do you have a service that is easy to demonstrate? Pick it apart. Put it back together on a live scene. People like to see st stuff like that. You know, or you can do a full on demonstration about you actually doing the work. You know, we've got a med spa client, um, you know, there in, in, in the Dandenong regions. We, we, we did a couple of videos of them sharing different facials, how they worked and, you know, giving people some sort of familiarity of what is it that they actually do and help to drive new people to their, to their Facebook and, 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 and um, um, you know, content, you know. So people are always looking for information, how to do stuff. And we're all sitting on all those things. So if you're struggling to come up with, um, with, a, with a topic, go on a website called Quora. Q, can somebody type it in? Do you know what Quora is? Q, U, O, I don't know how to spell it. Somebody type Quora for me. You know, it's a list of people that have got questions within your niche. And it's, it's questions that people would have asked on Google within that sort of topic area. So if somebody's actually asking that question, at least 250 other people have the same question there. So you could just pick up a topic there and then just go live and answer that question. You know? And at the end of the day, some people might say, oh, I don't have the equipment. Guess what? If I could show you, this is the mic that I'm using to give out the quality content. Can you believe that? All right. Can you believe that? All right. And then at the end of the day, maybe I can show you one light that's there, but I'm facing a window right there. If you can see, I'm facing a window right outside. So it's giving me all this nice light and it just makes your videos come out well. And I can't really show you the phone, but I, I have it. I have it on, on video on, on, on you know, what do you call it on landscape so that this video can be actually taken in uh, and, and then I can put it on YouTube, you know? So at the end of the day, there's, maybe you just don't, maybe you just don't know how to get people's attention. But if you try, if you keep working at it, if you keep doing what you're doing right now, if you keep doing what you're doing right now, definitely I can assure you that you, you, if you just go on live, you could always delete the video anyway. 
All right, so don't let your ego go, you know, you know, go in front of you or go in front of you actually helping people. And if you can't do it, just like what Luke normally does, grab a, grab a cocktail, grab a best friend or grab both. You know, because, you know, just going in there and talk about stuff and, 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 and have a conversation with somebody else. You know, and the best way to really, really get over fear um, of um, the best way to get over fear of, of, of going on live is just to do it, guys. You know what I mean? You do it because at the end of the day, you're not doing it for yourself. You actually want to help people. You know, and Stewie says, yes, man, you're straight to the point. Thank you so much for tuning in, brother. And Greg Staten, I hope you're doing well, my man. You know, and once you do, it gets easier and easier over time. Like anything, when you just start, it, it just gets easier and easier. I've been doing this every single day at 2 p.m. AST, like without fail. It just now has become my accountability thing. It makes me feel like I've done something for the day. You can imagine what it will do for you as well. And the more you do, the more your results will start increasing, the more the viewership and the engagement and most importantly, leads and sales. Because some people right now, I've got about five people that are watching, but that doesn't mean those are the only people that are going to watch that video. I've got videos that have got thousands of views, you know? So if you're really, really <coughs> ready to multiply, you know, your, your, your results by maybe four or five times, just decide to launch your Facebook Live this week. You know, and base, well, guess what? As soon as you launch, you the right kind of people will show up. They will tell you what their problem is. And guess what will happen? They would actually, you know, expect some sort of a payoff of which you will then be able to sell them your product. I assure you, being live like this, this is a permission asset. Because right now, if you don't have anyone's attention, you cannot sell anything to them. So by giving them information, you are asking for a bit of permission for you to sell to them a little bit later on. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you can actually reach out to an audience that you've cultivated for a very long time and, and, and they're willing and able to actually pay for your services. They now know who you are. They now know your style. They now know that they can reach out to you because they feel like they know you. Like I keep saying, guys, people like doing business with those they know, like and trust. This has been on since 2016. All right, since 2016, Facebook Live has been on. Just make the most of it. It's a free activity that you can just go on. If you don't like the video, you can always delete it. Don't let your ego go in front of your bank. You know, the one thing about it is, you know, you're live. You know, and people are watching you live. So engage with them, motivate them. You will actually start feeling, uh, I, I do this for selfish reasons more than anything else. Because the dopamine and the endorphins that come when I'm live like this, because you never know what to expect. So well, why wouldn't you want, you know, to experience that for yourself as well? And especially if you're actually helping your audience by actually helping them. You know? And if you don't know what to say, there's still a lot of things that you can talk about. Your business... There's a lot of people that are putting content out there. Just maybe put your spin to it. Otherwise, if you're, if, if you're not found where your customers are searching, then obviously maybe you don't care about the longevity of your business. And guess what? This video is going to be there till time immemorial because I never delete my live videos. So guess how many times this thing is going to continuously sell for me even when I'm sleeping. You know? And also, I want us to really know this. We are the most documented generation of our, um, you know, our, our, you know, of, of our species ever. So can you imagine in 2055, this could be part of your legacy. If you haven't done anything to, to, to help other people, that is of note. So why not start now? Why not start making your mark? I do this every single day. You know why? Because I want to leave a mark every single day of my life to make sure that at least 30 minutes of that 24 hours has been put into something of, of note. You know, these days, everybody's doing those funny, um, you know, dark faces, you know, 
All of that information is going to be there for your great grandkids to see. How about if little Johnny, my little grandkid, is watching right now in 2057? How are you doing? Are you behaving? Can you imagine how that would be for them to actually know that their great-grandfather did some work? Not just hang around and play around on the internet. So if, if you're having trouble set up on, 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 um, on Facebook Live or relating to your audience, I'm more than happy to help you out and with content strategies. So if you can type in content, I can give you a hundred content tips that you can, you can start to create, um, you know, Facebook live videos every single, not every single day, but consistently. So if you type in the words content, I'll definitely shoot you through a PDF that I have, you know, um, you know, created that would get you in front of your, your audience easily because all the other people that are not showing up on Facebook live, I treat them or I think they just copy and paste um, other people's work and then they claim it to be theirs. Because if you've got something to say, you can always share it with, with your audience. And that's what your audience is thinking right now. If you're not putting out content that they can see you or, 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 or hear your voice or hear your opinions. Okay. So if your ego is coming in front of you, this is a free tool. Facebook has made it harder and harder for you to reach your audience. Type in the words content and I'll sure be able to send you through a PDF that has, um, yes, I think it's, it's one of these, a PDF that has got all the 20, um, hundred tips that you can utilize to, um, you know, um, reach out to your audience. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to be seeing you on your lives. And also when you go live, please tag me in your videos so that I can come and also support you. All right. Tag me in your videos. You've got my permission. Bye for now.